Alright, thanks for checking our channel here. This is going to be a um, testing video, possible repair, depending if we have the parts in stock or not. We don't get a lot of these S100s in for repair, but this is the second one we've gotten in in the last like two weeks, so not short to say there. These usually, I mean, we go like a year better before we see when these come in. Now we've gotten two in two weeks. But this one's got a little, little age on it. It's a 2018, 2017 model. 2018 model. So they came out with this in 2018, so this was probably the first generation of this unit. I don't know, they've, they probably have tweaked a little things uh, on the boards and stuff since they came out with this model. So there may be some update changes to the boards, I don't know. Um, but we don't see a lot of these come in. I, mean, I, I think the last, like, what, six years of these have been around? Five, six years of these have been around? Um, I've worked on maybe five maybe six at the most, so, and we, I've, I've got a whole year or two without even seeing one, so now this would be our second one in two weeks that we've gotten in for repair, but uh, the story on this is, it won't come on, so he, th he doesn't know anything, he thinks the battery was good, he charged it, he bought a new battery, or whatever the story was, but I don't know anything else past that. Um, but I did, when I, he's semi-local, I know says, well, the battery's in, I can feel it's kind of heavy, so we turned it over to to the battery check mode right there and the little battery light right there didn't come on so now we'll um, unscrew the back here and we'll test that battery and see if it's any good or not or see if it's even hooked up it may not even be hooked up oh it's hooked up turn the light on see a little, little bit better okay this is a uh, bit of 12 volt battery on these Ooh. I lost that thing Set it there for a second. Um, let's unhook the battery leads from it real quick. Let's just test the battery. Make sure this is a 12 volt, I believe. I'm pretty certain of that. Yeah, 12 volt, 7 amp hour. And this is expert power. Established 1987, mean in Vietnam. Okay. So it's not the original battery from that Gallagher used in it, but let's test this battery. See what it reads. Oh, shit, this battery's junk. Look at that. 12 volt batteries, half a volt, basically. Well, let's, uh, that's probably way too low to take a charge. Let's take my, I got a, um, power supply here. We're going to put, set it at 13 volts. And I'm going to take my power supply leads. It's got an amp gauge on there. And I can actually charge these batteries with that power supply. And what we'll see what I'll see is if I put my power supply across this battery, you know, black to negative, red to positive, on 12 volt battery, we'll put it 13.2 volts, and we'll see what kind of load this takes. We'll see what kind of load it shows on my amp gauge. Nothing. So this battery's shot. So either they got more problems, you know, a solar panel problem, or I don't know, I don't know if he tried charging this with a... Um, um, like external battery charger and and ruin the cells. I overcharged it. Sometimes you'll feel little ripples or well, there's a bump there and a bump there. So he might have tried charging this with like a regular car battery charger, which you can do on like a two amp charge, but you can't leave it on there very long or you'll just boil these little cells inside here. They, Gallagher and most brands recommend one amp or less um, on these on small batteries like this. Um, all right, so let's set this orange piece to the side for now. Let's go ahead and we'll put um, the power supply that I was using to try to check the battery. We'll uh, hook that up to the battery power battery wire leads. Turn this around. Let's see. I put it over to the battery check thing here. Shows green. It's flickering in the screen, but in person it's solid. So that's a frame rate camera issue. Flashing nice. Okay, so let's put our tester here. Let's 
see what it reads. We're going to go voltage and kilovolts. And we're going to turn this back on. It's clicking along. We're going to look at this first number here. And we're at peak voltage, no load, fence to ground, 8.2 kV. Seems pretty good to me. Let's put it on, let's see, it's one joule store, so probably at least half a joule or give or take output. Joules is what we should get. So we're going to set it at 500 ohms. This, this number will drop. I don't know, but to be 3, 4 kV. And we should get a joule number on there. So let's go across here to here. We're getting 0.48 output. So half joule output at 3.2 joules or 3.2 kV. Let's go to 200 ohms. We'll probably bring it down another little notch on the gate on the range. Yep. It's we're gonna we've maxed out. So it's probably half half joule output. Yep. So yep. point five joule output. So it's half joule unit output. So, at 3,000 volts. Um, let's uh, go to no load, and we'll see what kind of pulse speed it's got. Seems pretty steady on the pulse speed. Now, this number on the left is the speed of it. It's 1.3 seconds uh, in between each pulse. That's how often it clicks. It pulses every 1.3 seconds. The number to the right is your the duration of how, off, how long that shock is actually on the line. So how, how long is that click? How long is that shock? It's 0 0.08 milliseconds. So very, very, very quick. Very, very sh sharp pulse, sharp snap. So, I mean, this unit seems to be working fine uh, here. But let's um, turn this, let's put these knobs back on so I don't get shocked by it on accident. Turn it off. And let's take this thing outside, and let's test the solar panel. Now, there's two ways we can test this panel. The easiest way is through here, through our battery leads. We'll leave the unit turned off, or yeah, turned off. We'll face the unit towards the sun, which is kind of a snowy, cloudy day outside today, but we'll see what we get. And, um, and we'll put the meter on DC volts, and we should get on a 12-volt unit, at the battery leads on a Gallagher because they have a voltage regulator built into the circuit boards to, to keep that voltage from because most 12 volt solar panels on their own open circuit read like 20 between 19 and 22 volts um, open circuit and then uh, that's way too much for a 12 volt battery to, to cook the thing over time and just ruin that battery um, that's just about as bad as having hardly any voltage going to the battery running down too far so most 12 volt units with a built in regulator system like Gallagher's got a, uh, that will bring that 20 volts or whatever it is down to about 14, 15, you know, somewhere in that range usually. So we'll take you outside. I'll pause this camera, walk outside, start the camera back up, and show you what we got going on outside. So bear with me. We're outside here. We're going to put the meter on DC volts, which that's a symbol for DC volts. For battery stuff and this is an auto range meter so I don't set to any kind of particular setting so it does it on its own I'm doing this one handed because I'm holding the camera on the other hand hold on for a second the wire inside there um, it's cloudy outside it's a little snow on the ground oops Ooh. that's not good that's no bueno okay so let me take it inside because uh, I don't have my coat on out here. I don't have a screwdriver here. We'll take it apart and we'll test the panel on its own because now what we got going on is is the panel bad or is the voltage regulator system in the board bad? Is it the panel putting out 22 volts inside and the regulator's not doing its job allowing the power to be down and coming through to the battery leads 
it's you know we gotta, we gotta figure it out so let's take it back inside get this thing tore back apart all right back in the shop here all right these aren't too hard to take apart you got two flip screws and the whole thing comes apart um get my drill here put a Phillips bit in there we'll buzz the two screws out here in the bottom corners Set those down. Only, then you should be able to just grab the back here. It's kind of stuck because it's never been pulled apart since it was new. Come on. Pull this back lip here. It kind of hinges there at the top. It's got a little lip to it. You lift up and just pull it away. The panel is plugged into the board, but let's flip this thing back over. Let's take this front cover piece and set it off to the side. There it is in all its glory. Okay. So now what we want to do is unplug the solar panel there. Let's see. See, it says on the back here, all the specs. Let's see. I don't know if it's an actual part number or not, but it says P is a part number, but that might be the right one. I don't know. Let's see. It's a seven and a half watt panel. OC, VOC, open circuit voltage. VOC stands for, so 22 volts. So that's what should be, um, like in this, in full sun. Um, so let's, um, now this will be kind of hard to test because it's got these little bitty, little bitty holes right there to get the reading out of. So, hmm. let's, uh, Y'all are gonna make this panel? Probably not. Y'all are makes board, the transformer, all the guts, the, you know, the plastic case. They make all that, but I don't know if they make the solar. I don't think they make the solar panel. They'll probably buy it somewhere, get the right dimensions that, that they're after, and someone make it for them. Okay, so let me grab the meter again. Let's go back outside because I, I mean we can test it in here, but I don't think the light overhead is gonna be good enough. I mean, it's going to give us something, I'm sure. But I doubt it's going to be what we're looking looking for. Let's just see what we get. Well, we're getting 12.2 volts. Oh, well, we're almost 12 volts right here. So, hmm. Maybe the panel's not our issue. <coughs> and we got a um, circuit board problem. So, now... The only way to know for certain versus guessing is to take this panel outside, get good sun array, a lot of light hitting it, and do the same test across this. So, let me pause the video and take you back out there. I don't know if I'm able to do this or not. If I can't do it, I will just tell you what I get and we'll come back inside. So, let me pause this and we'll come back here in a second. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit difficult because I need a third hand. There's nobody here to help me right now. My dad was here. He could help plug the wires in. I hold the phone or vice versa. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is going to be kind of difficult. Let's see if I can get the meter in the screen here. Oh. Let's see if I can get at least one on the the touch and stay there. Uh, I'll just tell you what it reads here. Hold on. All right, I got it. <laughs> Barely. Uh, Twenty point six volts. That's good. That, that's what. I mean, we're all cloudy outside. I mean, there's not a. It's all cloud cover. So twenty point. No, oh, I had it for a second. Twenty point six, whatever it was. So we know the panel itself is fine. So we got a circuit board problem. So I gotta see if I've got a board. Um, cause I'll show you what the board looks like. There's not much work we can do to those boards. There's no schematics for them. They're all surface mount units on the board. So we're gonna run into a pickle trying to fix the board. But I mean, it's a $500 fence charger, 450 maybe. The boards aren't even half that. Uh, they're less than half that by a lot. Less than two, less than $200, I think, for a board. Uh, so, um, from Gallagher, so um, that's going to be our, our test next. We're going to look at the board, just take a gander at it, 
and then we'll um, see if I got a board. If I do, if I don't, then I'll have to order one, that sort of thing. If I got a board, we'll reinstall it and we'll kind of go back to it and see what we got going on next. Well, bear with me. Okay, so let's get this circuit board pulled out. Now yeah, unplug these wires there, and there's uh, looks like there's three, three, three Phillips screws holding it in in place. I think they're actually shorter than the ones in the back, so you can't really get get those mixed up. The board is pulled out of there. And look at all the look at all the doodads, all the little bitty surface mountings. Plus, this thing's got a nice conformal coating on it. The solar panel plugs in down here. You can see traces on it. Run up these two little ones here, and one stops there, one keeps going on. But god dang. What do you do? <laughs> Where do you start? You can't get schematics for it. So I mean what do you do? You just gotta, you know, do the best you can at testing. Make sure you do, you know, get a good educated guess or like we, we did actually physically test everything uh, that we can. And now we know that the problem is in this board. And they, they probably have made a change to this board since this was built new. Since this first came out, would be my guess. But uh, this is made by Gallagher and House. It's not an aftermarket, whatever. This is made by Gallagher and House. But look at all the stuff on there. You see a nice little shimmer to it. That's a conformal coating. It's got it on the back side as well. Now this board's probably got a charge built up in it, but that's why I'm being careful. And these are nice boards. I mean, nice looking board, but kind of expensive for what's on there, but, you know, Gallagher's an expensive brand, so what expect. Let's see if we got another board in stock. So, give me a minute here, I'll go see what we got. Alright, well, I searched high and low through all my Gallagher parts. I had an S200 board in stock, which will not work, and this is a totally different shape. And the size, it will not fit. And the plug, everything's different about it, so it won't work. Um, so you have to put an S100 board in here, unfortunately. Um, but you know they're good units, and the parts are available. So I guess we we'll have to buy another board. We'll get the customer's approval first. We'll buy a board, slip it in there, retest it all back out, and call it done. So, but that's basically it for this little video. At least we got all the testing done. We know what's wrong for whatever reason. The board's regulating system for the solar panel is not doing its job, but the rest of it's functional and fine. You know, transformers, I've never had to replace one yet. Uh, I think we might have one in stock, but I think we bought it thinking, oh, let's buy, buy the part, have it here on hand, but now we're five years later, still sitting on the same part. So, but there you go. Well, thanks for checking our channel here. If you got any other questions, let us know. Got a concern I want, want us to take a look at, be happy to take a look at it for you. And until next time, we'll see you guys later on.